Okay, in this video, we will look at how we can create an ID for each record in Stata. Let us say we have a uh, data like this. So there is a data on four companies, and then you have the information on the city in which the headquarter is located, the state in which the city is, city is located, and the PIN code of the city. So let us first copy this data into Stata. So we'll open the Stata data editor. We can do a simple copy paste, and yes, we do want the first uh, row to be treated as variable names. So we'll click on this. Now, if I want to assign a unique ID or what we call in Excel as a serial number to each of these companies, okay, so I need a I need a separate column for the serial number or the ID. So I can do that easily in Stata. So the command for doing that is generate space. So you have to give a name to the to the unique identifier variable name that you want. So let's say it's company underscore ID equal to underscore n. So that's the syntax. So as you can see, so it has given one to the first company, two to the second company, three to the third company, and so on. Okay, so this was pretty easy. But let's say, suppose we have a data like this, where, where we have multiple entries for a single company. So we have 360 degree global equipments here also, 360 global equipments here also. So, so this is something which is additional. So let me uh, insert this. What, what we can do is we can copy this all together again. So let us say, I copy this. Now, if I do this uh, generate, let's say again company underscore ID is equal to underscore N, then you will see that Stata has given company underscore ID as uh, uh, 2 to 360 degree global equipment here and 5 again to 360 degree global equipment here, which is something which is an undesirable output. So the way out here is that you use an advanced generate command which is called as egen, give it some other variable name, let's say it's a serial number, or then you write it as group. So how do you want to group it? So I want to group it using company names, that's the variable name, company name. So like this now if you will see that you will get so 360 degree global equipment private limited is 2 here and pair also it's 2 okay. so you can drop company underscore id okay. so you'll be left with only serial number and you can also sort according to the serial number if you want uh, companies or uh, the same companies to appear together. So now 360 degree global is there in the second row and it's also there in the third row with the same serial number. Thank you.